The next speaker on my list is representative of International Service for Human Rights. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Distinguished presidents, in her opening re remarks to the 22nd session of the Council, the High Commissioner referred to human rights defenders as the promoters of change, the people who ring the alarm about abuse and poor legislation. In addition, human rights defenders play a critical role in ensuring accountability for perpetrators and redress for victims of human rights violations, including corporate human rights violations. This panel is tasked, among other things, to highlight the role of the UN system in maximizing the contribution of business to development and addressing the human rights risks associated with business-related activities. Mr. President, distinguished panelists, in the view of ISHR, this objective can only be achieved if the guiding principles on business and human rights are interpreted and applied consistently with the Declaration on Human Rights Defenders. Consistently with Articles 2 and 12 of the Declaration, the guiding principles should be interpreted by states to require the enactment of legislation and the enforcement of policy to protect civil society organizations and human rights defenders from harassment, persecution and reprisals linked to their corporate accountability work. This applies both to the home states of corporations and the states in which they operate. For business, the Declaration requires that the guiding principles be interpreted to ensure that corporations do not restrict, impair or otherwise interfere with the legitimate work of human rights defenders, including the rights to freedom of expression, association and assembly. Corporations should also consult with defenders about the human rights risks and impacts of their work. For victims and their families, Article 9 of the Declaration requires that both states and corporations provide access to an effective remedy. This includes ensuring full and proper investigation and accountability in relation to, to the harassment and intimidation of defenders and others who sound the alarm. ISHR strongly supports efforts of, the UN, of UN programs, funds and agencies to main mainstream the guiding principles. However, if such mainstreaming is to maximize the human rights benefits and minimize the human rights risks associated with business, the full implementation of the Declaration on Human Rights Defender is core to these efforts. Thank you.